Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Tristana Jungle and Carry for Season 12 League of Legends for your runes. You want Hellblades or Lethal Tempo. For this game, we went for Lethal Tempo, Bloodline, Coup de Grasse with Ravenous and Sudden Impact. If you want to give yourself a little bit more umph and a little bit more stability for your Summoner spell instead of Flash, take Exhaust and you'll be able to win really any one versus one. Truth be told, I was trying to take Exhaust. I was just too slow. And if you do take Exhaust, feel free to also take free boots and uh, approach velocity for your secondary runes that combo i've been loving it on a bunch of different champions lately it feels super super strong tristana you're usually looking to keep your clear out nice and tight and ganking once you are level three that is when your ganks are most optimal we have double range champions leashing us so i can kite this a bit without them having to tank that was a pretty solid leash i'm happy with that we'll actually go ahead and take uh take the krugs here krugs are really easy to take if you have a uh, smite I'm gonna qe this you want the medium one to hit you so the big one doesn't the big one is the one that does all the damage we're gonna kite this out get a red buff dot on each one of them plus our jungle item burn get them as low as we can and one more auto we weren't close enough. Oh, well. Bada boom. Next up, we'll push straight for blue buff into ganks. Or we could do gromp into ganks. Either or. I think blue buff's a bit easier to kite. You want to be as healthy as possible when you push out onto the map. You can also go for a lacquer instead of bloodline. I think bloodline's a little bit better of a scaling rune. Darius is missing. Okay, there he is. It actually makes me really nervous when the top laners have pressure. Enemy tops and then they just go missing. It makes me think they're coming for me really hate it when top laners do that they just invade your jungle you're both level two a lot of top lane champions are very good for those type of fights all right we'll look for the gank here we're pretty healthy and we still have smite charge darius is very 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 low our things on cooldown we'll flash w on him He's dead, 100%. We surprised him. I'm not sure if he had flash or not. I don't know. Don't really care. I'm going to stay to shove this. I'm too low on health to actually go for scuttle crab here. So I'm going to have to settle for uh, shoving wave. If I go for scuttle and uh, the kindred's there, I'm going to get wrecked. I'm trying to not take any of these. He got uh, all the gold for those, and he got 80% of the total XP. I got 80% of the total XP. We both win, and I don't have to risk dying to Kindred on Scuttle, since she already knew I was over here, and I was low on health. We'll grab Double Longsword and get... Uh, well, actually... Yeah, we can't afford boots. If you can get ahead early like I did, getting Tier 2 boots is super, super strong. Unranged AD junglers, Graves, Twitch, Tristana, Kindred... It, it makes your gank so much stronger. You can weave in lots more autos and it gets you around the map. Very strong pair of boots. Vex is really annoying. Uh, her fear knocks you out of the air. It's the only fear in the game that does that, actually. Cut out this red buff. Bada boom. He's out of here. We don't have to deal with him. He does more damage than red or blue buff, so you don't really want to let him touch you. The medium ones aren't a huge deal, but you still kite them. Take a little bit less damage. There we go. We moved on to Raptors next. I wouldn't recommend taking Raptors until you are level three and up. If you're pre-level three, uh, it's kind of bad. It can be a bit of a pain. It's easier once you have your jump. I'm not gonna use my jump since I'm level four and these are only level one Raptors, actually very easy to take. I'm gonna use my sweeper, make sure I'm not on a ward here. I want Vex to use an ability. There we go, we jump in midair. We shoot out our E, get our Q down. We didn't get off our last auto, so we didn't actually get jump reset. That's very unfortunate. I actually missed an auto and canceled an auto, so <laughs> we would have had jump reset otherwise. Uh, it's really unfortunate. All right, got the resets. We got our W back again. Got it, we didn't need to use it. It was awesome. Great rotation by the Lux. 
I'm gonna hold on to my W. Ooh, Bard's here. Yeah, he just reset the Gromp on me. That's annoying. They know I'm here too. It's kind of risky for me to be here. I'll stay near the Blast Cone. The odds of us dying are very slim. If she loses walls, if she goes for Gromp, it'll be time inefficient. We could reset at this point. We have tier two boots waiting on us. There's nothing to gank bot side anyways. We can back for tier twos, get to top lane almost as fast as walking there from here. Red buffs up in 30 seconds. I don't think bot lane's gonna be gankable. Enemy bot lane ran double support. Looks like they might've even done 80 Soraka because they're trolling. I don't think we're gonna be able to gank that unless they're under turret with no HP. My bot lane keeps shoving them in. Draven's looking to back. He wants to spend his gold. Guess I could red buff and kill them here. Or I could rush out and get a kill because they're playing aggressive. I like that idea more. Need Bard to step up a bit. That minion wave might uh, be a bit of an issue. And get my Eon in midair. Got it. Oh, that bard. That that luck shield was huge. That luck shield saved my life. Definitely would have died without it. That bard damage was higher than Soraka's damage. <laughs> Some points are balanced, by the way. It's low-key the strongest role in the game. If like no one's fed. Like just raw base stats and items, the, the role's insane. Dude has just support item and a mana bead and he <laughs> did half my health like it was nothing. You can't really get all of your uh, stacks off of your E if your Q's on a cooldown until you have a lot of attack speed items. So if your Q is on cooldown, your E's not nearly as effective. And if you don't fully pop your E, you don't get W resets. Getting your fully popped E is super important in gank so you can stay on top of them. Even if they have flash, they can't get away. I missed an auto attack. My attack move click has been really sloppy. It's kind of late right now, so my brain's not on uh, full power. Your E's on a much lower cooldown than your Q, five seconds lower. So you generally, they're not always going to be up at the same time. That's all right, though. We stand close enough with our attack speed we have right now, we can actually fully pop it because the travel time of the autos otherwise won't get there in time. The 35% on our Berserker Greaves making the difference. Kindred's bot side, she gets a kill. She doesn't have red buff, that means her red's probably up. So she started with her bot side clear towards top side. Vex doesn't have her fear up, I can jump on her from here. When she blows an ability, she'll die. Yeah, she's dead. Got it. Got the jump reset. We're out of there. I didn't have to blow flash. My stuff's on cooldown. Kindred could be right here. The fact that Darius... Okay, Darius isn't missing anymore. That makes me feel better. And your uh, E, when you fully pop it, it only gives you resets if it's against a champion. It doesn't work against like minions or monsters. It'd be really nice if it did though. I assume Darius is low. Yeah, he's missing a lot of health. I think I can kite this out. As long as he doesn't have flash, I should be able to do this. Oh my god. I can't keep up with him. He has tier 2 boots as well, and his ghost made him really fast. I gotta get out of here. Kindred might come and jump me through the wall. I gotta keep moving. That was really unfortunate. Darius had flash and ghost. Super hard to get away from. <laughs> and he has tier 2 boots, so we're not even really faster than him. First item rush, you're usually gonna be looking for a shield boat or Kraken against their team. Oh, that's a tough call. I think I'm gonna go for the Kraken. I have Lux to peel for me. Plus, I took Lifesteal in my runes. If you take Lifesteal in your runes, Shield Bolt isn't quite as important. 
plus they don't have a real assassin on their team like Talon or Zed or like Echo Diana to where I'm not really worried about getting one shot by any one of them. If they have someone who can absolutely one shot you, you should go for a shield bow. You'll get more value by staying alive that way. I'm already pretty confident I can stay alive here. Doesn't seem to be warded, yet she's running. She might have had a word on my wraps. Blue's down. No words here. So my sweeper's so good, you can check many bushes. Strock is dead. Draven's gonna poop on her. I have a feeling this is a 15 minute surrender. I can feel it coming. Kendra went bot. She needs to focus on her strongest laner. She's focusing on her weaker laners. I'm not going to jump on her because she can knock me out of the air. And I don't want to put my W on a cooldown and get knocked out of the air. I'm faster than her after two boots. Should be able to run her down here. Get my red buff autos on her. Sandra should be able to catch up. My red buff's on cooldown now. Red Smiter, EQ. Got her. I don't know if he has hook. There we go. Full stack lethal tempo. We'll go ahead and shove this. She actually tried to steal that from me. She didn't even try to hit the minions I wasn't hitting. She was just like intentionally hitting the ones I was when they were about, all about to die. That's funny. We'll have Kraken soon. The weakest part of Tristana is your pre-level 3. Levels 1 and 2, she's very vulnerable to being messed with. Just make it to level 3 with double buffs, and you have actually very good odds of carrying the game. I'm going to reset. Sitting on a full crack and red buffs coming up, we'll path straight into it. I'd like to get my full item advantage. I'll also go into... I'd say Collector or Bork next. Bork would be really, really good for kiting out the Darius triple auto into him. It'll slow. Also keep us alive. The Collector raw damage output is also good tough call one or the other here could even go for a uh, bloodthirst bloodthirst is very expensive though looks like kindra took my raptors psych they just spawned in sometimes when i look on the mini map it looks like it's just gone and it's not spawning Vex is trying to find something. She's so far behind. I think this is a tough matchup for her, the Syndra. Where is she at? Here in midair. She's dead. I almost just died. Yeah, I'm dead. She just wouldn't die. I didn't realize Vex had a self shield. I didn't realize that. Seemed like she shielded or healed or something. She just didn't die. I had uh, my red smite burn on her and it just wasn't finishing her. Yeah, I think we go for Bork. Borkin for the Porkin. It gives too much value not to get. We'll rush top lane. Our top side jungle's up. We might as well push up there. Comparing Tristana to other off meta range junglers like an Ezreal or a Caitlyn or Kog'Maw jungle. I'd say her damage output's a bit lower than Kog'Maw, but she's a lot more mobile. She has better self-pill tools with her uh, jump resets and with her R than Kog'Maw has, but her damage is lower than his. She, uh, she's one of the better off-meta range junglers, I'd say, because of her jump mechanic. It's really hard to match that with any other ability in the game. This is what you get, Kindred what you get for what you did to me be able to take this really fast we had some lethal tempo built up after killing her it lasts for a while as it ticks down don't know where their vex is i don't mind any 15 minute mark i know you guys like to see games that last longer but ultimately it's all about ending the enemy's gotta put up a fight or kill my teammates if they want to stick with it the only person who could really handle us right now is the darius because their team's just very low damage only high damage champ would be vex if she was fed 
But really, the Darius. Kindred would never be able to kill me because of my arm. My jump, she can't keep up with that. My jump's like six Kindred jumps all at once. They know I'm over here. I have to hold on to my jump. Nice. Got the resets. Got the fruits. I think Kendra's gonna be on her, uh... Where is she? Is she on her wolves? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Nice. Get those jump resets in. Very nice, very nice. It's all about looking for the angles on the jumps, doing little Mario Goomba jumps. We have a lead, we need to keep pressing it, stay inside their jungle as much as possible. We'll take these wraps. Nice, they're up too. I like that. We'll go take our top side. Nothing to kill here, nothing to kill here. Harold's down. We'll, we can uh, full clear down into Dragon here, have a very efficient route. Might as well get that gold stacking. Double support bot lane is actually very strong. I've made videos on it. You need to pick the right champions for it. They have to generally be hyperscalers. Things like Tarek, Sona, Seraphine. Picking like Soraka Bard isn't the best. With that being said, AD Soraka is viable, just not bot lane. It's very good top lane because you can bot itemize into things like Bork and Shieldbow to where you giga sustain in lane with your Q and your items. But uh, playing her bot lane, she gets out damaged by most AD carries to where it just doesn't make sense. And you may say, well, why not just play an AD carry top instead of Soraka? It's because Soraka's Q. Soraka's Q's base damage is insane. It's a slow and it heals her to where she can perform much better in the early game than most AD carries can. Oh, this guy was typing. What is he doing? <laughs> I think Darius is mad. I think he's bummed out right now. He's probably trying to surrender and he's got one goon on his team voting no. Well, when's next Herald spawn in? This dragon's blocking it. Yeah, I think we already got last Herald because it's not even showing it's going to spawn. So I don't remember when we got it, but we might have just gotten it past the uh, 14 minute mark. I think Harold's on a uh, six minute timer. So if you get it later, then you leave the 13 minute mark. You're not going to have time to ever get it. Where's Kindred at? I got a little surprise for her. Vex just burned her fear. It's when her bar's red. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was rough. They just got shut down. <laughs> I didn't even see Vex hit me with her R, but she did. Kindred still had her R. What we can do is uh, use our R to knock them out of the Kindred R and it will kill them. Because normally whenever you blow up your E with the final stack, it stacks up to four times. On the fourth stack, if you hit it with an auto, it blows up instantly. But if you hit it with their, your R, it'll push to them. And then once it's done pushing, then it blows up. The rest of this game was a really strong reminder of just how important Shield Bow is when the enemy team has even one champion who has heavy burst for the rest of this game vex essentially just kept one shotting me we did still win because we had a lead but it's really important you guys go shield bow if the enemy team even has one champion with burst because it's honestly disgusting regardless i hope you enjoyed this tristana jungle commentary guide if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time